attorney Jack Thompson and also Paul Levinson, the professor and chair of communications at Media Studies at Fordham University. And sir, thank you both for being with us. We thank appreciate you. seeing you today. Well, Jack, I, I want to start with you today because you are a bit of a controversial figure. You helped write the Louisiana legislation that would ban these sales. Why do you think it's necessary to have a ban? It's not a ban. A ban to minors, I should say. Yeah, well, because 40-some states have laws that prohibit the distribution of sexual material harmful to minors. We have a movie rating system in that regard, and the industry itself labels these games as uh, adult or mature. And therefore, we're simply saying to the industry, if you're going to label these things and admit that they're harmful to minors, stop selling them to them. The, the Federal Trade Commission found last month that roughly 42 percent of the time you any kid of any age can walk into any retailer and buy any game like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas despite the game rating so we're simply saying stop selling these adult games to kids and apparently the industry is afraid of what's coming their way because this law was passed unanimously in Louisiana by the way by every legislator just two days ago the industry had a press conference in the rotunda of the, of the Capitol, and they said, "Get well, we're going to stop selling these games to kids. It's about time. It's 10 years too late. Paul, he brings up some good points. A lot of people wouldn't want these games in the hands of kids. What do you think about these laws? I don't want them in the hands of kids either, but the laws are totally unconstitutional. Why? <laughs> because we have a First Amendment that says Congress shall make no law abridging freedom of speech. Last time I checked, entertainment was a form of speech. Although keeping them out of the hands of minors, we do that with movies, too. You sure. can't get into a rated R movie if you're under 17. That's wrong also. The fact of the matter is there's not a scintilla of scientific evidence that any oh. movie or video game, however violent, has ever caused any damage in the real world. Okay, and let there me... Are no, and there are no shortage of perverts and criminals out there who do real damage, who kidnap, kill people, that's who the legislatures should go after. That's who the lawyers should draft stronger legislation uh, to punish. Jack? The professor apparently doesn't know that the American Psychological Association, the largest collection of psychologists in the world, issued a report in August of 2005 saying that there's a direct causal link between the play of violent video games by adolescents and minors and violence that we're seeing in the real world. So, professor, how in the world could you say such a thing that there's no evidence? There are 30-some studies in the last several years uh, uh, participated in by the American Medical Association and others that draw a co direct link between violent entertainment that teens play and real increased aggression and violence. So it's simply a, a misstatement. I assume you misspoke. No, to I suggest, didn't misspoke. You, well, you, you, you can't, unfortunately, you can't, you're so like, are ignorant of statistics and don't really understand those every, studies. Uh, the, 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 American, the, the American those Psychological those Association well, is ignorant. Think you're apparently too rude to even listen to uh, the answer I'll to listen. your question. Good. Those studies show correlations between no. watching video games and violence. They do not show causation. No, no. And apparently, the fact of the matter is levels of violence what's the have not... What's well, between correlation of, and causation? Uh, there's Correlation a big means that two things are happening at the same time. Yeah. Causation means that the first thing causes the second Gee, that's to happen. A, that's a, so uh, the fact uh, of the matter is, you can look and see that levels of violence have not increased oh, no, they with have. the advent of uh, video games. No, for example, here in New York Wait, City... Wait, do I get to talk here now? Here in New York City, sir, let me finish my point. Levels of what violence have decreased over the past 10 to 15 years, beginning with Mayor Giuliani and his uh, cleanup of, of criminals in New York. Jack? Okay, so let yeah. me just finish. Do I, and it no, was no, no, he's during finished. this period of time let me talk. that there was an increase in the sale of violent video games. Okay. So how do you explain that, sir? Okay, that's called a filibuster. Uh, no, it's called fact, making sense. Do I get to Jack, talk yes, now? Yes, Jack, go ahead. ABC News found last month and reported that there's, in fact, an increase in teen violence. Um, and, and so your, your, your figures are incorrect. Secondly, the American Psychological Association found not correlation, but causation. Uh, the AMA said uh, six years ago that there are now literally a thousand studies that show the causal link, not the correlation, the causal link between violent entertainment and teenage violence. And in fact, the U.S. Supreme Court in Roper v. Simmons last year, which struck down the juvenile death penalty, uh, cited brain scan studies that we're relying on in our case in Alabama that show that individuals who are in their teens process this type material 
in the part of the brain that leads to copycatting behavior. So the Supreme Court wow. apparently, sir, is out of touch. The entire American Psychological Association is out of touch. Gentlemen, and you're the only one who thinks there isn't a correlation. Gentlemen, hold on just a second. We are about out of time here. I'm going to have to end it here. What I will do is ask you both to come back. I Please. feel like we have a lot of information to go through here. We do. I'd be happy to. All right. Jack Thompson again and Thank Paul you. Levinson, a professor and chair of communications at Media Studies at Fordham University.